Hey, welcome back to Deep Brand Honey. Today we're gonna make this uh, double crusted no bake cheesecake, which is delicious, especially if you love the crust like I do, but even if you don't, it's really good. So you'll start by taking an entire box of graham crackers. This is like 27 full sheets of Nabisco graham crackers and pulverize those. I use my food processor, but you can kind of beat them to death in a plastic bag if you like. Just make sure they're really, really fine. Um, after you have them completely crushed, go ahead and add them to a bowl along with a half a cup of brown sugar, light brown sugar, and two sticks of melted butter. I had realized here that I hadn't yet taken my cream cheese out of its wrapper and it needs to be room temp, which is going to happen much faster if you take it out of the, the foil stuff that it's in, so I took a break to do that. Um, but combine all of your crust ingredients until all of the crumbs are evenly coated in the butter. Half a cup of sugar on the cream cheese, I don't know why I added it right then, but I did. Um, and then just make your bottom crust. Take half of the crust uh, mixture and press it into the bottom of a nine inch spring form pan. Seal it in there, pack it in there really well. If you don't pack it, it's just going to crumble when you try to cut it later. Um, in the meantime, take two cups of heavy whipping cream and get to beating it, or whipping it, I should say. Whip it for about five minutes until stiff peaks form. At the same time, if you can, you wanna to cream together that half of cup of sugar and the three blocks of cream cheese. After that's evenly combined, go ahead and add in a teaspoon, well, actually more than a teaspoon. The recipe will be um, linked in the caption, but you'll put in some lemon juice, vanilla, and some powdered sugar and beat that into your cream cheese mixture. Get it all nice and smooth and evenly combined. And then you're going to fold in your whipped cream. Now, I had forgotten to whip in a bit of powdered sugar into my whipped cream like I normally would, powdered sugar or cornstarch to kind of stabilize it a bit, but it actually did not make a difference, so I, gonna put a note on the recipe that it's optional um, but fold your stuff into your stuff fold your whipped cream into your cream cheese mixture now dump it all onto that bottom crust it might seem like you have too much like it's not gonna fit but it is most likely probably Pack it in there while you smooth it out. You don't want there to be like air pockets and bubbles and stuff. So make sure you're really kind of pressing down as you smooth it out. Then after it's nice and smooth on top and even, spoon some of your remaining crust mixture over the top. Then you're gonna smooth it out with the back of that spoon. You kind of want to be gentle. You're kind of want to trying to kind of want to try to <laughs> I really need to do this voice over and over but I'm lazy and I'm not gonna so once you have enough of the crumbs on the top and you're smoothing kind of as you go you're really going to press it in to the top layer of the cheesecake like you don't want to flatten it or anything but you you really do want to use a decent amount of pressure so I found that after I have it up there and it's kind of stuck together very well I'll take a round of parchment paper and use that to smooth it down and really press it. Um, obviously, you don't want to use your hands. I mean, you can, I guess, but I prefer not to. Um, after you have the top crust really, you know, packed as tightly as you possibly can, seal it up with saran wrap and refrigerate it overnight. And then after about 8 or 12 hours, you'll have this top layer is still kind of crumbly. I am very heavy-handed, as gentle as I'm trying to be, but here we go. And there you have it. A double-crusted, no-bake cheesecake. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. Bye.